vegan. I promise I own something besides this fucking robe. I'm not a crusty whore. <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. Just kidding. So, um, yeah, pretty much what I do in the mornings is this bitch, y'all. The ow, roll my water from Lush. Go and get it. You hungover? You just suck dick? You tired? Depressed? All of it. ADD? Gone. Okay, um. Mm. No spray, bitch. Ugh. No spray, bitch, because it's allergy season. You know what? We're not trying to get the flu. This bitch doesn't get vaccinated. What else we got? Okay. So what do y'all like to do in the morning? It's like, what's y'all's thing? What's y'all's favorite thing to do? It's like I'm like going out of whatever. Anyways, yeah. So what's y'all's favorite thing to do in the morning? Do y'all like to just sit there until the last minute do you like to get up and read a fucking book and be happy and shit or do you like to be just i don't know chilling watch netflix let me know but, um, okay so sometimes in the mornings i will sit there and I guess it's a dream. Like, I'll dream that I have these texts, like, say I have, like, blah, 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 at, like, text messages, and I'm like, okay, cool, blah, blah, and then all of a sudden you wake up, and those text messages, like, just weren't a thing. It's like you dreamed of yourself waking up to text messages that didn't exist. Like, what is the truth? Like, show yourself. You know what I mean? All right, um... I think it's time to shower. I think it's time to get a little Nikki. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Puberty. Um, okay, so that was shower time. I realize now that the rose water spray before the shower was kind of stupid, but I mean. Double or nothing, baby. Okay. Um, now we need to go in my closet and pick out the elf for a day. Notice I'm in a different robe. That's because this is my bathrobe. I wouldn't be caught dead in wet fleece. This is so towel material. Material. Mm. Towel material. Okay. You know what that means. <laughs> Uniform! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I fucking love having to wear this every day. It's great. You know, it's super fashionable. It has pockets. So, um, yeah, it's just overall great. You know, 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Gonna try these on, do a little fashion show for you, and I'll be right back. Bitch. All right, so that was like my get ready with me and all that shit. So hopefully I'll remember to take y'all around my school. If not, I'll update you and maybe we can do a mukbang. I don't know. Maybe go by the store and pick some things up to do. So we'll see you guys later. You guys. Got a spooky set up, got my ghost. You already know what's going on. So, it's been a long day. 
like it's been a long day. I had class. I didn't get to film that much because um, it was kind of busy and first day is usually awkward. I didn't want to pull out my camera and be like, <laughs> look at me, bitch. But you know, it's whatever. So um, I decided at the last minute, first I was gonna do like a build a popsicle stick house or I was gonna do a drink challenge, like the mystery drink challenge, which I might do that in my next video. I think my next video is gonna be an ASMR video, but as you can see, First of all, this is an aesthetic as fuck. Like, if I could just have these on like 24 seven, I would. I'm haunted mansion as fuck. Anyways, um, I say this so much. I had an idea that I wanted to create something from one of my favorite movies, which I don't want to like spill all the details yet because I want to get there and pull it out one by one and see um, what you guys think. So I'm gonna blow these out, get the lighting back on, and let's get this party going. All right, so this is kind of a hint of what I'm gonna do. I mean, I don't know why I'm even saying that annoying shit because you're gonna see it in like the description of what I'm doing. So first of all, gotta pop that open. Then as a hint, this is what we're doing. This is the candle my friend gave me, handbook for the recently deceased for the movie Beetlejuice. God. So good. This, I was at Hobby Lobby today. Like I said, later, earlier I was gonna do, um, what was I gonna do? Oh, like a popsicle stick house. So I go down the aisle and I was like, whoa, how cool would it be if I recreated the house from Beetlejuice and got drunk? So let me pull out what I got in my box over here. Okay, so let's start with some simple stuff. We got some green grass, you know, white, what is this? Poster board. I'll get you that because I'm going to show you a picture of the house and how I'm going to attempt it. I got green marbles because I can't, you know how in the updated version, like how they updated the house with like a green statues and shit like that. Let's see if I can hot glue that together. Um, we got fence post. Hot. We got popsicle sticks because I got to make stairs coming out right here. And we got posts for those stairs. And I thought all oh, this was going to be cheap, but wow, it wasn't. I spent like almost $100 on here, but whatever. A stand so we can make that little dock thing. I guess this is like textured grass. I already had it in my apartment, so I was like, bet. Like, let's see what the fuck we can do with it. Then, obviously, paintbrushes, glue gun kit, and the best for last, the little snake monster that tries to, like, eat the people. I know a lot of these. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from those. Okay. Let me figure out where we're going to begin. I'm going to put this back, kind of organize it like I need to organize my life. And then crack open this bottle. Also, sorry if I look like a huge slut. Um, a, I am. And um, B, just kidding. But B, I just wore this like oversized whatever that I got from the thrift store because I don't really care um, if I get paint on it. So I'm gonna crack this open and be right back. Okay. Let's open this baby up. God. You know, I'm blessed that today was a pretty fast day when it came to like class or whatever, because I only had one, but my classes are six hours long. And, um, where was I going with that? Oh, tomorrow I have an 8 a.m. So I'm really super looking forward to that. And I heard that class is hard, so I'm not that ecstatic about it. Um, but we'll figure it out when I wake up at 8 a.m. and cry. Um, okay, so actually I have a fear of, like, champagne. I thought this was wine. I didn't even pay attention. I got this at, like, New Year's or whatever. But I have, like, a fear of, like, balloons popping or, like, champagne popping. I'm just like, bitch. Because it was about probably second grade. I don't know. I made a balloon, like, friend thing. I drew a face on it, and it got popped. And I guess ever since then... 
Ew, why did I say that? Okay, oh my, it's just this part. You gotta. Oh my god, the pop. Oh my god. I gotta pop the cherry. Oh my god. I gotta get hard first. This is what it was like when I was having sex with women. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Let's pour and enjoy. Ooh, get in on that. Ew, honestly, Jared, just shut the fuck up. Hey, you ever have those days where like you just annoy yourself? You're like, honestly, why don't you just shut the fuck up? That's me. Okay. Let me check. Chugging, <clears throat> shit, on a stick. Chugging champagne, especially dry champagne, is equivalent to chugging a fucking sp Sprite from McDonald's. Like, we all know how that is. It's straight static electricity. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. Not a huge fan of sweet, but <coughs> that was hot. Anyways, okay, so what am I do first? Hi, back to reality. I need to stop being annoying. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is probably, oh, duh, I'm a dumbass. I need to show a picture, don't I? But that's gonna be hard because I'm using my phone. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. Um, you can send me an invoice for the, you know, mix up or whatever. But Google what the house looks like and you should be like, oh my gosh, yes, bitch. And if you don't know what it looks like, then you're uncultured and I'll, I'll pray for you. That is straight seven up. Whew. Give up to someone with heart failure. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, it's probably. Oh, I do too much of that, so I'm a little sore. Okay. Let's test some stuff out. Let's just fuck it up. Let's. I'm gonna get drunk. I'm gonna enjoy my day. I'm gonna pretend that I'm 150 pounds. I don't have depression. That I'm not single. That I didn't just spend $100 at fucking Hobby Lobby. Damn, look at these. Kylie Jenner is shaking. <laughs> Just kidding, this feels like... Like pubes. Okay. Oh, fuck. What the f I feel like about 150 of these just fell out and I swear to God there was only 20 in the bag. Show yourself. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> find the biggest one. Oh, fuck. That is so small. Why did I not get a bigger brush? Because I have to paint this whole plank white plus the house, like the actual house right here. <coughs> oh, yum, onions. Okay, and the shutters, like I don't know what to do with the shutters. Do I do those green? Do I do those, whatever. Let's just, I don't care. I'm done overthinking. That's what makes me single. Okay. Ooh. Why? Can y'all see that? I feel like you're at a really bad angle. Maybe I'll paint like this. Ooh. Okay, yo, this is gonna take forever. We need to figure something out. Why did I get the cheapest brushes ever? <laughs> I'm gonna see if I have another paintbrush and I'll be right back. Okay. I totally just rambled. Okay. Someone needs finance. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yes. Ugh. I wish she was more pigmented. 
So, what's y'all's favorite like spooky movie? I know there's like the iconic Beetlejuice, Nightmare Before Christmas. You got Corpse Bride, um, Edward Scissorhands, pretty much Tim Burton movies. But what's y'all's favorite? I could seriously watch that like year round. I'm not even kidding. It is my shit. trying to think I don't remember if I updated y'all on my class I know that I told y'all went to class but my teacher bitch this, this is not a game this bitch looks like she led the whole United States of America in World War II on her shoulders okay she's not fucking around you fuck up some sauce some soups or stocks your ass is getting fucking shipped I mean, and that's that on that. I'm sure she's a great teacher, but this bitch, she'll kill you. She won't think twice about it. She'll probably put your head above her fucking couch or some shit. <laughs> wow, I love getting colors everywhere. Okay. I'm sorry that you can't see this. But trust me, it's gonna be worth it at the end. It's also kind of difficult to do this because of A, I mean, there's not an actual shape. I would have to physically create like an entire replica, you know, and I don't have time or the talent to do that. So we will have to make do. Okay, so there's one part. That part done. I think I want to get a fucking animal. I just, I don't know, like, what to do. You know, like, I've had a lot of animals in my time, and bitch, it's gone bad. I had two turtles, went to Hawaii, came back, they drowned upside down. Apparently they fucking do that. Um, rip. I had a hamster. My mom vacuumed it. Um, we'll never forgive her. I will still invoice her for my therapy expenses. Um, what else? How many pets? Like, I've had a lot of pets. I had a dog. My dog Scotch. My fucking favorite dog ever. Some stupid crackers. or I don't even know if it was crackers. But someone stole them right out of our yard. And we have never found out since where my baby went. But I'm sure he's past now. But I'll meet him in heaven. Hopefully. I can't wait to do this like I thought of this so last minute and I was like oh not only is this like such a fun video idea so I can just talk with y'all and kind of be awkward for about 30 minutes or however long this is gonna take but I could have this just chilling in my apartment so it's a win-win but I do think I want to do the uh like the mystery drink challenge. I'm pretty sure that's where you get like five good ingredients, five bad ingredients. Bitch, why am I not drinking more? Anyways, five good, five bad. Then you pull a number out of a hat and whatever number that item is is what you have to put in a blender and you blend it up, blah, blah. I know it's weird to play with one person, but I mean, if I pick bad ingredients, and like no matter what, like I'm gonna get good or bad. So like it wouldn't be any different like if I did have someone here. So I think I'm gonna do that because he doesn't want to see me throw up. <sighs> All right. <coughs> wow. Let's get into some like risky business. Let's get some girl talk, y'all. Who are y'all's crushes? Bitch, I have some crushes. I have Timothy Chalamet. Fucking call me by your name ruined me. Ruined. I had to call my therapy that or my therapist that night. Call me by your name ruined me. I had to call my therapist that night 
on speed dial. She said, what's wrong? I said, I'm done. Like I'm on the ledge right now. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I can't do it. So if you haven't seen Call Me By Your Name, um, I would recommend seeing it because it's so good. But if you want depression, yeah, you know? Anyways, crushes. Okay, so there's Timothy. There's, who else do I like? I have a very specific type. Oh, Cody Fern. Ah. Oh. I would let him drive a Mack truck over my fucking neck and, th and like thank him. I would let him run over me twice, spit on my face and say, choke faggot. And I would say, thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your philanthropy. Because wow, that is a man. And there's Evan Peters too, like he's cute. But I'm sorry, I think Cody Fire replaced him. <gasps> Don't come for me. Okay, who else do I think is hot? I kind of like boys that look like they haven't eaten or slept in like about, I don't, I don't know, like three or four years? I don't know, I think it's kind of hot. Anyone that looks like they could be in a Tim Burton movie, get in my pants. We also stand Miss fucking Lindsay Lohan coming back. I need to, I've been meaning to watch her new channel because it looks so good. And the actors in there, or not actors, but the employees look fucking sexy. I'm not huge on reality TV, so, you know. But I'll start watching that. I love Lindsay Lohan. Her, Paris Hilton. Oh, if you could be friends with like one, okay, I'll do two different ones. If you could be friends with one famous person, who would it be? And if you could be in a friend group of like someone like famous or YouTube, who would it be? I think I would love to be friends with, I would love to be friends with Lana, honestly. Not just saying that because like, oh my God, I love her. But like, just because I feel like she's an overall cool bitch. And she just wants to be left alone and like me. But as a friend group, I'm like stuck because I love, stop, don't, don't roast me, but I low-key love Grayson and Ethan Dolan. Um, I can't believe I'm almost 21 years old and I said that, but fucking Grayson Dolan can get it. Oh my God. But I also love like Emma and James. So I think being a part of that friend group would be fun. But I would love to be a part of David Dobrik's because same thing, he can get it. And he just seems like an overall sweet guy. You can tell like there's a lot of shit for show, but he genuinely cares about his friends and family. Um, I bet the people watching this are like, who the fuck are you talking about? Because I don't think any of my friends watch YouTube, YouTube like I do. Man, I'm so sloppy with this right now. Also, I need to figure out how to edit songs because currently I'm like I've been filming from my iPhone and I've been like editing on iMovie. So like I don't know how to do uncopyrighted songs. So they just sound like I don't know, just unseasoned. It's just me blabbering. And half the time I have, like edit 85% of the shit I say because it's so dumb. But, you know, I did this for me. Cause I'm one bored bitch and I got no friend. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. Oh, I think I have to do a second layer. This is, I'm on, this is a just monstrosity. Okay. Oh. Maybe I'll make it a birdhouse. The apartment that I live at, unfortunately, doesn't let me hang Christmas lights or plants or birdhouses or shit like that um, on the patio, which is um, fucking racist. I don't understand why. That's not allowed. Like I, I want. I bought these cool ass flamingo lights specifically for my um, balcony and 
got an email saying, sorry, bitch, can't fucking have those, little faggot. So that was tragic. Man. I'm so sorry that y'all are bored right now. I promise it'll get more entertaining. It's just this white, you know? This video is going to be called, like, White Boy Paints White on White. Ew, that was stupid. Don't. That was just so stupid. The title of this is gonna be like, "White Boy Paints White Birdhouse for 45 minutes." <laughs> Ew, Medius, don't ever look at me. Okay. <sighs> okay, hang on. Let's try it again. I'm trying to think, what's something we could talk about? There's some days where just, the juice isn't flowing. There's days where I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I feel off. I feel gross. But I'm going to get the fuck over that. And I'm going to be the bad bitch that I am. Because, period. Oh. Story time, bitch. So. <coughs> I drunk ass last night. They decided to Postmates McAllister's Deli at like 10 o'clock. It was somewhere around 10, or at least it got here at like 10. So I got like a, like a Spud Max, which is a giant baked potato. Then I got two bowls, one bowl of chili, and then a bowl of tortilla soup, blah, blah, blah. So, and then I said extra jalapenos on the baked potato because I just... Especially when I'm drunk, I love spicy foods. Like, it's no joke. So, I wake up this morning with my stomach, like, cussing me out. It was saying, bitch, if you don't get to the toilet right now, I'm going to fucking ruin your sheets. I'm going to destroy them. And they weren't kidding. So, you know, I hopped on the plane to LAX and... Oh my god, stop. I forgot the rest of the lyrics, otherwise I guess that would have been funny. But, no, I hopped my ass to the toilet and had the shits after I got ready for class and I was so stressed. Like, honestly, just pray for me. Okay? I think I already have hemorrhoids, so. Anyways, I'm an open book, so I usually overshare and then I watch this later and I'm like, I wonder if people think that's weird. I'm like, yeah, they definitely do. That's why um, you cut in high school. Okay, I think we're almost, I'm going to start, like, let this dry or whatever so I can start something else because I'm definitely going to have to, if you can see, it's still kind of like wooden -y color. I don't know. Um, no, obviously the roof is, but like the white, so I'll have to double coat it, but I'll be right Okay, so, yeah, I might do a couple more of those. Gosh, I'm so sorry, like, I think it, I'm supposed to have manners, but I don't know her. Oh, here they are. I was like, where are you? Okay. Um, do we want to, okay, let's glue. It's blue. Maybe, oh wait, glue so y'all can see it. Glue it like this. Cause then, you can come out to this. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go like right here. That's hot. Okay, um, I'm gonna heat up the, what's it called? Glue gun, drink some more, and I'll be right back. Okay. So. We're gonna see. That's a weird text. Okay. Wait, what the hell? I'm trying to see. Is it hot enough? Fucking shit. That's fucking hot. So yeah, I'm not sure why it's not coming out. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, cool. This motherfucker is gonna take a lot of glue. And I'm worried, oh my gosh, it's already running out. Why didn't I get the extra large one? Being small gets you nowhere. It's gonna dry. Oh my gosh. Bro, architects are shaking. I wonder if I could build like, I wanna build a house. I wanna build my own house. I feel like that'd be so sick. Okay. Wait, I didn't see how much room I have in the front yard. Oh, fuck. Honestly, y'all, look. I gave myself two inches of space. Okay. Cool. I'm not trying to fuck off. That's hot. Okay, so... This is where it's gonna get... Actually, let me paint the roof first. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of black and gray because it wasn't just full on this light gray. Shade. Grit it. Really good highlighter. Good shit. Okay. Mm. Uh. Okay. Let's mix that shit. Mixing it like a roofie. Ooh. Y'all see that? Trying to make the color of a roof. But it's not a typical black, it's a Tim Burton film. He's not gonna do a black roof. It's probably gonna be like fucking purple. But this one is gray. Hot, I think I got it. Okay. I'm just gonna use the same brush because it was just white. So the roof is looking pretty good, honestly. If I can pull this off, like, I'll cry. Okay. To all my Lana fans out there, I know I get my have, okay, I'm one of those Lana fans that like never shuts up, like I'm annoying. So I always get excited like hearing about her. Everyone has a favorite artist. Like everyone, it's funny too because you can sit there and listen to your like favorite songs, and be like, and have a friend that's like, oh, I don't like this song, and you're and you sit there and you physically and spiritually, and emotionally wonder why. You're like, why do you not like this song? Why are you the way that you are? Because you are in my prayers, but I would just like an explanation. You know what I mean? So. That's who, how I feel about Wana haters. Wow, I need to get my shit together. So, honestly, I was kind of having a shitty day, but YouTube has always been one of those things. Like, like I said, I'm very lonely, so my source of like entertainment or, you know, anything like when I want to laugh. When I want to do like anything like that, I watch YouTube because I find people that relate, I don't know, on the same shit that I do. That's why I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be embarrassed. Like my friends make fun of me. Like who cares? Like I live in Arkansas now. They live in Texas. I'm on my own, bitch. So I don't know. Here I am. I'm not doing this so I could have five fucking Lamborghinis and whatever. I mean, that happens great, but I don't know. I'm here doing it so I don't lose my mind. Because as much as I love independence and being alone, that can get a little overwhelming sometimes. So it feels good to be able to just to talk to someone, even though it's weird, that's a camera. But I know that I have people out there that are probably like, damn true. So I just want to be a safe space for y'all. Come to me. I got no no shame in anything. I don't judge 
anyone. We accept everyone here. Anyone and everyone. Except, you know, the obvious racists and homophobes and Republicans. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. I think painting is actually so therapeutic. This is going to be a mixture of like regular um, video of just like me talking and then ASMR as well because I don't know sometimes just you get really in there you get really focused so but anyways this is the part of the videos it's funny because I know it's gonna happen this is the part of the video where there's like slow parts and you know when you just go like 10 seconds, 10, 10 seconds, so I can get to like the final product. And you know, those people like worked their ass off to make that and you all just being selfish and go to the end, that's definitely what's gonna happen here. And it's okay because as long as y'all see it, that's all I care about. Because bitch, I worked hard. I cannot believe, it's only 7.30, actually it's 7.23 here in Arkansas, which it feels so much later than it like actually is, but I only get the wave when I have 8 a.m. because I'm like, what the hell, man? Like, I did not ask, like, sign up for this shit. Because what happened is I went to my, my <coughs> advisor, who seemed like she had her shit under control. Turns out she's new, didn't figure, or didn't do anything right, honestly, and ended up fucking me over. So I got dropped from two classes when I was supposed to have... Um, like six or something like that. No, I only have four. Which sucks because I kind of wanted to not rush a semester, but kind of just get through it because I've already been through a uh, community college. And so I've done school for a while now. This is like my fourth year and I'm tired. So, but nothing comes easy. That's one thing. For sure. You gotta pay your dues, baby. Okay. This is actually turning out, like, pretty nice. Like, even if it doesn't look exactly like I'm sure there's gonna be haters on there and be like, this literally looks nothing like it. <laughs> you get the idea. And regardless, it was just fun. Like, we're just sitting here chit-chatting. We're having the talk of our lives. Oh, gosh so hard because I'm so like ADD and it's weird because when I drink I can get so focused on something or if I smoke smoke if I smoke especially I'm focusing on like one thing and one thing only but I oh, just got demonetized for that okay so okay here's my dilemma now so here is the house and the shutters, the original house does not have shutters and there's actually supposed to be a red door here. So I need to figure out how to do the red door. And uh, so should I do the shutter? I think I should do the shutters white. I think there's no shutters, so I might as well try to blend it in. Most of y'all are gonna be like, no, do it gray or whatever. Actually, I bet none of you say that, but you never know. Man, I'm sorry that this is such a boring video. I have tried to make it entertaining for y'all though. So, and this is real shit. Like, ugh, I hate when people don't believe me when like I talk about shit like this or whatever. But okay, so I have so many old Alton like stories or whatever. Some being like when I was little and I would see things and my parents would tell me like, who are you talking to? Like blah, blah, blah. And so I go home and me, me and my mom like have the courage to watch. Um, I knew that some ghost um, hunters had gone there or whatever, but I thought it was the BuzzFeed one because they BuzzFeed Unsolved did a video over it, which is cool. But, you know, I was like, whatever. But it turns out that Ghost Adventures went there too. And so I was like, oh wow, I haven't watched that one yet. And it's crazy. Pretty much it's this bridge. And what happened was there was a gut man who lived there. 
or he didn't live there, but he was selling goats or something like that around that property and the KKK didn't like it. Anyways, being the people that they are, um, they lynched him. I don't remember his name, but yeah, they lynched him. So that was bullshit. But when they hung his body over the bridge, his body had disappeared. And now there's this saying or legend that there's a goat man there. But there's has been so many reportings of like satanic worshiping and human sacrifices and animal sacrifices. Like it's crazy and super weird down there. I remember pulling up one time when I was in like middle school and this is like one of the scariest things ever happened. I pulled up there in like middle school with my two friends, Matt and Brandon. And um, as soon as we pull up, we see this guy in this black like cloak looking thing. Like he was a real person, not like a ghost. But he sat there and he like was like head down like this and like charged towards my car. And it was the scariest thing in the fucking world. Like can you imagine like being like first get your license? You're like, oh, I want to go to the cool places. I'm going to go to Old Alton, Goatman's Bridge, the Haunted Place, like whatever. And you pull up and some fucking satanic worshiper dude runs up to your car like bitch what would you have done if i stayed were you gonna like fucking who knows what they would have done it's so just scary in general but yeah if you haven't heard of goatman's bridge or if you haven't watched the ghost adventures or the buzzfeed unsolved goatman's bridge videos look it up and then i lived about three two and a half three miles from there so, she's crazy. Anyways. I'm excited to get the small painting done because it's more for me, the more shit I'm excited about is like the actual like designs and stuff like that. And I feel like that'll be more entertaining to watch rather than just me like, you know, bullshitting. Not really bullshitting, but you know what I mean. Okay. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow sober and be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, I painted up the house. Speaking of, I need to smoke, I need to drink more. Let's check. Really hope y'all are enjoying this video. I certainly am, but I mean, that's just because I'm in a good mood. Got my alcohol. I got. Beetlejuice in the background. If y'all ever get bored, just look back there. Beetlejuice is playing. I'm sure some of y'all actually are. Whew. So over the break, someone hit my car. And I guess it would be called a hit and run. And uh, pretty much almost total... I don't know if, it, I don't think it totaled it, but it's destroyed. And if we are going to get it worked on, then it's going to take about a month or so to get that, um, get my car back. So now I'm currently driving a truck rental or whatever. And to you drug, truck drivers that like y'all drive trucks, do y'all have a problem like parking? Cause let me fucking tell you something, bitch. I can't park a truck. Like... If it meant, like, if they were, like, park this truck where your mom dies, like, I would have to say goodnight and RIP because, I mean, I don't know how the fuck y'all do it. Parking trucks is a personality trait. I'm not a fucking kidding, bitch. I'll sit there and cry for 20 minutes in a Target parking lot wondering how the fuck I'm fit this heavy set fucking vagina of a truck into a parking space. It's absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Okay, I'm back. So, we have the foundation. What, in the movie, when they renovate it, they have like this, but first of all, this isn't here. It's supposed to be a red door, and there's like a stairway that comes down right here, and the door's kind of up here, like blah, blah, blah. It's like a front porch. Oh. <coughs> Woo, sorry. But then they have like this porch that comes out here, so I have like a hot glue gun, some popsicle sticks, cardboard, or whatever paper that is. And then I'll cut out that little triangle. And at the end, I'll try and show a picture or something and put up my computer. Sorry that I can't do that right now, but I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Oops. 
So far, I love it. Oh, wow, that's so good. I usually don't like sweet, but that tastes like little Sprite. Okay. Oh, wait. What do y'all think? Should we do the fence first? I think we should do the fence first, and then... Actually, I have an idea. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have glued it down, because now I'm going to have to cut it. I want to do the grass. But I'm going to have to scissor it. Shake, 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 senora. Shake it up, darling. Oh, 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 senora. Okay, where are my scissors? Where are you, little batch? Can you, okay, yeah, you can see this. Wish I could have a better view. I promise, guys, that I'm gonna have more high quality shit eventually when I figure out how to, when I figure out how to edit on a computer. But for now, I hope y'all are okay with my, um, what am I saying, iPhone quality. Which I don't think it's that bad, honestly. But I will work on that. I think it's over. I think this is the ending scene, right? Oh yeah, it's over. Okay, I think I'm gonna lay it on like that. But I need to hot glue gun it or should I glue it? I think I should like glue glue it. Ugh, I'm gonna turn it off. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. That chair, bitch. I fell right on that motherfucker. Wow. That's funny, actually. <laughs> That's fucking funny. But I'm telling you, the walls in here are paper thin, so I know the people below me are probably like, what the fuck was that? Sorry. Send it. Oh! That's fucking hot, man. For real. They get this shit. Who makes it? Oh, that's. Never mind. Hello? Hello? You don't know what I'm talking about? It's no fun to be in the closet. Come out. There, no. Okay, well we're gonna do that. Like, why is it not clicking? This thing's like... <laughs> That's how I feel about you right now. You sleaze. You little son of a bitch. What you fucking work at, little fucker? <laughs> Bro, okay, for some reason, like, I'm probably just immature, but the videos of, like, those blonde girls that were like, we have fucking cock destroyers, that shit has me rolling. Because, like, I don't know why I think that's so funny. It's just like, we have fucking cock destroyers. I want to despunk those fucking balls, like... <laughs> Bitch, ew, I'm definitely not gonna put that in, but that is fucking funny. Like, who are those women? I'm like, are they okay? Okay, oh my god, look how cute. Like, it has grass so far. Are you fucking kidding me? I should get paid for this. I'm charging all of y'all. Send me your PayPal's. Because I'm charging. Oh shit, I forgot I'm filming. Look, I found a strip that's gonna like, mm, fit. That's hot. Stop. That's sick. Come on. Oh. What movie do I wanna watch? Oh my God, I keep forgetting that I have an 8 a.m. 
A fucking 8 a.m., dude. I know most of y'all sitting there like, shut the fuck up, honestly. Like, try working full time. Like, honestly, no. I'd rather die. But still, like... Fucking 8 a.m. suck. Like, we all know that none of us are actually that good at waking up early. No offense. If you are, you're not Christian. Okay, I'm just so in the zone right now. Like, I really hope that y'all just accept me for who I am and just... I don't mind if you skip. If you want to skip 10 seconds and skip to the end, I understand. But anyone, if you actually watched all of it, let me know. Comment it down. Say, comment something that I said, like right now. Say, if you watched it all, be like, send a butterfly emoji. I don't know you're a real one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I want to be a lonely old man that builds dollhouses. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm not trying to sound like the lovely bones. Shit was crazy. I hate myself for not gluing on the grass first. Rather than having me cut it up. Oh, I should put on a corn line. That's a good one. Okay. Put this one. It's like, I wish y'all could see what exactly I'm doing, but at the same time, I kind of want it to be a surprise. Because it's like, I'm putting a lot of work into this. Oh my gosh, it's only 7.45. I swear it was, I swear I just said it was like 7.20, like three hours ago. That's crazy. Okay, but real shit, this is looking good. Okay, here's the really hard part that I'm scared. Okay. We're gonna do stairs last. Oh. Yeah, this is what we have so far. See, this is what I'm talking about. I have to do double coatings because of whatever, but this is what we have so far. So it's crazy. And then these will be stairs, these posts, and then we're going to do, oh yeah, this is gonna be, I'm gonna have a patio that comes out and these will be like, you know, the stands for it. Have this over it and then have that triangle shape. If you've seen the movie, you'll know what I mean. So stay tuned. I fucking ran out of alcohol. I drink. Oh wait, did I? No, hang on. Oh, I have this much left. Man. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love water. Ugh. Sorry that I'm burping so much, but. Most of y'all that have had champagne or whatever, God, I look so not cute. Okay. Obviously white, right? Oh wait. Yes. I'm a white picket fence, bitch. You are on the bench, bitch. You see me in the gym and these bitches wanna go bench press. I ain't fucking with you, sis. We ain't with the incest. Yes, I am the queen. I'm still trying to find the princess. Y'all know who I'm singing? Queen Nikki. I, lyrically, I think Nikki is the best. She'll say like three things in like one verse. And all of a sudden, like, and it can mean, like, three different things. Like, it goes right over your head. It's amazing. And But Cardi, I feel like it's kind of, like, I don't know, maybe basic rapping. But, I mean, also, I don't know anything about rapping. So, I'm not, that's why I'm saying, like, I'm not here to judge or whatever. Because I don't, 
that's not my cup of tea. I don't know how to rap, so who am I to judge? But personally, I love Nikki more, but both are very talented people. So that is my spill on that whole deal. Oh my God, look at these little fences. I guess you see, I have to double coat it. I have to double coat everything, but I will not film that. I'm gonna do the base, show y'all, and then I'll go off camera, do the little sparkles, and then show you the aftermath, and then maybe tuck out something else or do would you rather, I don't know. Whatever might entertain you, since this has been kind of mellow. It's been a pretty mellow talk, but it's just been a pretty mellow day. So I hope that y'all are at least interested, or at least still watching. Because if you are, I love you. But, who knows? Anyways, okay, so this is hot because it burned me earlier. <coughs> Let's glue the fence in, baby. Should it go like this, or should it go like this? I think I'm gonna do that. I really don't think I'm doing this right. Sorry about that. I don't even know if y'all noticed it, but the theme music for Edward Scissorhands was just playing in the background. So selfish of them. I want y'all to see this, but I'm just waiting. So far, we have a one part of the fence down. Oh my God! I love things like this. Like I've, ah. Oh. Okay, so me as a kid, like I had like friends like when I first, I'm from Arkansas, but when I moved here and I actually like had friends when I was little, little, they were mainly girls. And I would always want to play with Barbies or Bratz dolls or, you know, Polly Pockets, like all of that shit. And I was obsessed with it, but I would do it so low key because I didn't want my parents to, you know, kind of be upset. And not that they were like upset or anything, they're good parents, it's just, you wanted to be like secretive. Um, and so I would sit there and like play with Barbies and be like, oh my God, yes, Barbies, blah, blah, blah. And it was the best thing ever, but I was obsessed with dollhouses and I was obsessed with uh, Barbie high heel shoes. I don't know why I thought those were fucking adorable. Just little things. I don't know, I think I'm obsessed with like little things, but um, oh my gosh, so cute. I think that, um, Doll, or dollhouses or like Toy Story and shit like that were such an aesthetic for me as a kid because how sick would it be to live in a freaking dollhouse? Are you joking? Okay, you guys, so I skipped forward actually a lot because I realized that my mumbling was just getting too much and I was stalling. So here we are with the mannequin. We got the fence. I couldn't do the stairs, so I just did kind of a post and I did a cardboard fig door right there. Here's the fence. Here's the structure that went in the side of their patio. Ooh, all I gotta do is I'm about to paint the snake and put him back right here. And there you have the house from Beetlejuice. Ah! I can't believe I just fucking did this, but um, I think I'm actually gonna keep you all around while I paint the snake since I was gone for so long. Okay. You guys, this is taking me, this is taking so long, but I'm actually super happy right now. I can't believe it actually like turned out pretty well. I could do better, but like, I don't know. Okay. I think I'm just going to do some brushing, like this kind of brushing on. Ah, shit. I also got to make the green structure, and I'm going to put that, oof, where am I going to put that? I'll put it, like, right here or something, so y'all get, like, the idea. Okay, so the snakes were, like, hang on, they were, like, purple and black, gray, 
gray, green. They were like everything, man. They were weird. So let's do purple, black. I'm just enjoying myself now. What are y'all up to tonight? What day is today? I think it's... I think... You know, I'm not sure what day it is. I think... Oh, it's Monday and tomorrow's Tuesday because I have that um, freaking class at 8 a.m. But... Um, what are y'all doing tonight? Do y'all have any plans tonight? Do for people who don't have class, do y'all just going out or y'all just chilling at home? Let me know. Because, bitch, I'm doing the same. Just chilling and painting. Can y'all believe that I just recreated the fucking Beetlejuice house? Well, to the best of my ability. Has this even been done before? Like, I'm pretty sure that this was all me, baby. And if you did, if you have done this before, then I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> okay. Yes, let me get in there. Wait, maybe they were green. What fucking color were they? I can't remember. Or like iridescent, worm color. Whatever the fuck that is. I'm gonna leave a bit, little bit of tan. I'll give him a green head just for fun. Because at one point he had yellow hair. So maybe I'll do that. Okay. Let's get I'm gonna do green. I'll do green and yellow. Because I already have green grass and oh fuck. Stop. This is gonna look sick. Like, damn, I did that. Y'all see that shit? Damn. Okay. Let's let it air dry. I'll be right back. I'm brainstorming, bitch. Okay. So here we have ooh, the house with the snake and that weird architecture design. Oh my gosh. Can you believe I just fucking did this drunk, bitch? If I can do this drunk, you can pass your SAT. The last thing I have to do is make this um, statue, which I'm going to put out, hmm, I don't know yet, but I have an idea, so I'm going to do glue rock, oh, fucking glue her upside down, I meant to do it like that, can y'all see, oh good, y'all can see, I 
But y'all know what I mean? She had like these weird green claw artwork designs in the house. It was super weird. But this is why I'm doing that. So let's see if I can just recreate it. I'm so hungry. I only had fucking Sonic mozzarella sticks and um, what else? Onion rings, but the onion rings are fucking burned. Can you believe that? Fucking bullshit. I can't believe I just made this. Okay, should I put that here? I'm gonna put this. Gosh, if it's too heavy, it's gonna ruin it. It's not too heavy! But does it belong there? Holy shit. And there we fucking have it. I'm gonna bring y'all around. All right, bitches, look at this shit. Okay, so I couldn't do the stairs, so I just made like a fake door or whatever. But here's the house. Here's that little creature that comes out whenever the dead people try to come out. Here's their weird architecture shit she had. You know, here's the design. I'll do a spin around. Ooh. Clearly it wasn't the best work. But yeah, that is... The motherfucking Beetlejuice house. What do you have to say? He's like, bad. <laughs> anyway, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This took me for fucking ever. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun just bullshitting around and talking, even though it was kind of boring. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, just leave a hate comment or move on with your day. But, um... I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you want a ASMR or a just regular video after this. So let me know. Okay, love you.